I'm Dr. Julie Busby. We're going to talk nail trimming today. And I always like to say if you get 100 veterinarians in a room and ask their opinion, you're going to get 105 opinions. So I start with a disclaimer that I'm sure that there are other ways to do this. I'm just going to show my way and some little tips and tricks. My preferential way for trimming a dog's nails is to lie them on their side. We call that lateral recumbency. And that allows me to get maximum control because the worst thing for the dog is to be flailing around during the nail trim. We want him to be calm. We want him to feel secure. That's really important. And we want him to not be able to hurt himself or potentially the people who are involved in the nail trim. So I prefer lateral recumbency. The way that a quadruped, a four-legged animal, gets up is two things have to happen. First, they lift up their head and second, they take the down leg, the lower leg, I call it the leverage leg, and they extend it out. So when I'm holding the dog in this position for a nail trim, I'm gonna be just taking control gently of a hind leg and this leverage leg by holding it in such a way that he can't get it down and out to push up. And I'm just draping my forearm over his head and neck so he can't lift his head up because again that's going to be one of the first things that he'll do to get up as well. So this is tips on positioning for the nail trim. You certainly can hold the dog in your arms, you can do it while the dog's sitting in your lap, but for a dog that struggles I find this to be the most effective way because the dog feels secure and I'm just firmly holding here and um, it's I think the safest way for the dog and the people involved. The other thing that I'm going to say by way of my personal preference is that I recommend the use of Miller's Forge nail trimmers, whether I'm trimming the nails of a three pound Chihuahua or a 200 pound Mastiff. This is my tool of choice. Dremeling is great. I love dremeling. I just personally don't use it. These are handy for me whenever and wherever, and this is the way that I do it. Stay tuned for part two where I'm actually gonna cut the nails.